All right, all right. Welcome back to the channel to everyone out there on YouTube. Welcome to Future Trading with Mike. And in this video here, I'm going to or want to talk about with you, um, you know, my past experience of being a futures trader and uh, failing. Okay, and that was I've said this on a few videos before, but I really want to talk about today what you really need to do to be successful and really make profits in this in this business. Okay, because um, there's so many traders out here. That try to piggyback off of other traders in a sense, um, kind of falling behind their their leads or their trades, whatever the case is. Um, you know, betting the fact is that they're gonna make money that way. Look, if you want to be successful in this business and you really truly want to make a a, a career out of this, uh, turn it into a business to where you, something that you're passionate about can make money each and every day. The best thing I can recommend for you is to really, really find something that works for you, okay? And build a solid trading plan around it, all right? And that means uh, devoting yourself day in, day out, uh, by means of practice and back testing. Formulate a strategy that is gonna allow you to be profitable. What I see so many times over and over again is where traders, they start to use one particular strategy and they do not allow themselves to go for the, the long run or give some, um, some time period to pass to basically see if that strategy plays out and works. Look, not every day in the market um, is the market gonna be or, or go in our favor, okay? There are gonna be times where you may take or have a losing trade and hopefully that you get out of that trade before it uh, you know, does any damage to you or your account. Um, because that's the at the end of the day, we're all trying to protect our capital as traders. But you have to find a strategy that works, be consistent with it, and give it some time to see if it's going to work. Okay, you may ask yourself the question, Well, how do I do that? Well, again, give time. All right, you know, if your win rates are larger than your loss rates, then you, you're on the right path, you're doing something right. Okay, and once you have that golden egg, okay, or that golden or golden tool. Uh, or strategy that allows you to be able to profit and be successful in the market, stick with it, all right? Yes, at times we have to do our homework, continuously going back and back testing for and testing to make sure, because market conditions are always changing. But look, don't change the strategy. Work through it, work with it, okay? The market is not always going to uh, throw the same setups all the time, all right? And we as traders, we have to, if you got a strategy that works, then just build upon that, okay? Find means to where you are able to get greater means of confluence or confirmation when trading. Use one thing or another thing. I'm not saying, look, I trade purely price action and fall on market structure, okay? But, you know, that's, you have to understand and learn uh, market structure, being able to read the market and fall on price action. But my strategy is, I, I, I use supply and demand, okay? My style of trading is surround supply and demand, okay? I'm speaking to everyone out there. You know what? I'm not even gonna say speaking to everyone out there who trades supply and demand because I'm speaking to all traders out there, regardless if you trade supply and demand, support resistance, whatever your setups are, whatever your strategy, you know, surrounds uh, as far as how you trade or where you learn to trade from. Um, and it, this doesn't just, you know, just drive home to future traders at all. You could trade through uh, the Forex options, whatever the case may be. But whatever strategy you have that actually worked, stick with it. If it's not broke, then why try to fix it, right? So I guess I kind of rhyme there. If you got a strategy that works, you know, stick with it, okay? All right, if it's not broke, then why try to fix it? Just want to say that again. But anyways, um, yeah, if you got something that works, definitely, 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 you know, go with the flow of it. Allow it to, to, to make you money. You know, just build upon things. It's like building an account. All right. Uh, when I first started off, I failed. Okay. Now I didn't fail in, in the sense of I, I allowed myself to start, you know, blowing through accounts. All right. No, I did not trade prop firm uh, or use any prop firm money to try to get funded and and, and trade uh, money that these companies allow you to trade with. No, that was not my aim. Uh, and to be honest with you, I didn't know anything about them uh, ten plus years ago. I started off with my own live account. All right, and I was just penny pinching away. Uh, trying to build my account size up, okay? Yeah, you're not going to get rich in this business overnight. You must understand that unless you've got some huge amount of money stored away somewhere, okay? We're talking about trust fund money, maybe. I don't know. But, or maybe, you, you know, you just worked hard and you have a, a 401k that you, now you just decided you're going to be stupid and, and just throw all your money into th that bat, into your brokerage account and you know nothing about trading and maybe you'll get, you know, uh, uh, by the, the the luck of the draw, get lucky, get lucky, and 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 make a million dollars overnight. 
The guys, that doesn't happen. Okay, look, you have to be smart about trading as a trader and build your account up is what I'm getting at, okay? Yes, I failed at the beginning because for me, why did I fail? I did not have a solid strategy that worked for me, okay? You have to. That is the uh, thing that's going to uh, provide you longevity in this business is having a solid strategy, something that works day in and day out. But you wanna know where I failed at? My biggest failure was this. I failed because I did not know properly how to read the market. Yes, the market. I did not know much about um, market structure. I thought I did, you know, but it wasn't until I had to really take a step back, take everything off my charts, which means going to a naked chart and allowing my, my eyes to follow, you know, the pattern, the price pattern, the price movements of a price, you know, as it's making its ebbs and flows either up that up to the upside or downside, making higher highs and higher lows or lower lows and lower lows, uh, lower highs and lower lows going to the downside. You got to be able to understand that the market can shift direction in any given period of, uh, in time. All right. But you have to be able to read what I call the building blocks or the foundation or the structure of the market. All right. Which is market structure. And following price action, whenever price starts building or developing or, or a structure, then start following with price action. You know, price action is all about looking at, you know, price movements. It's making swings to the upside, making swings to the downside, price breaking through areas of structure or through levels, we, you know, some people call it. Um, but you have to be able to properly be able to see things visually with your eyes. Is Are we in a trend to the upside or are we moving to the downside? And that can be long term or intermediate so that was my biggest failure was not being able to read the structure of the market properly and being able to uh, follow price action now today that's purely what i uh, lean the most on is i call, consider myself 100 percent a price action trader you know i trade supply and demand that's the, those are the areas of the market that i look for rejection at but i am a purely a price action trader i don't have to have anything on my charts i don't need anything on my charts to trade from all right I can take everything off the volume profile, Kimmel to Delta. Yes, I barely, I don't even really use Kimmel to Delta in reference to the uh, bottom portion down here in my chart right here. You know, yeah, I mean, when I speak upon, I spoke upon earlier about building a strategy, developing a strategy, and then finding tools uh, that allow you or give you more confirmation or confluence in the market. Yeah, these are tools, you know, but the the win-win the, uh, situation is being able to read price action. Um, if you can read and be able to trade from a naked chart, then I always say you are 90% more, you know, there, okay? All right? Because anyone who can read what the market's doing and follow price action and trade with trade based on, you know, uh, uh, price action, you know, then you can trade 100%. You've already proven to yourself. You don't need anything else to guide you alone. You don't need the bumpers to, like if, if you had a bowling alley to kind of like in your bowling and they, they got those bumpers that they can put up to make sure the ball goes straight. You don't need anything to guide you, okay? And that's the, that, that's the key to it is being able to visually see what's going on on, on the market off a naked chart and being able to make money successfully each and every day by doing so. Man, you have already gotten there. You're past the finish line. All right. So look, that's the reason why I feel I just probably could not understand market structure and be able to read it. I, I, I fought my own self internally trying to get there. And it wasn't until I actually, um, you know, started reading the naked chart, started, took everything off my charts. And that's when things visually just to me, just came clean to the eye, conceptually speaking. And I just, I don't know, it was like the light bulb just clicked in, in my head and I was able to start making money. So I'm telling you, Anyone out there who is struggling right now and you have built your, I guess, um, trading foundation based on purely using a bunch of indicators and you get all this confusion stuff on your charts, take a step back and you're not making money, okay? And you're not making money. Take a step back. Take everything off the charts. Go back to ground zero. Read or go watch some videos or whatever you may need to do, but grasp an understanding of market structure and price action. That is going to be your golden ticket to get you into the door, all right? That allows you to become successful. Then, once you understand that, find a strategy that works for you and stick with it, okay? Stick with it, all right? Later, if you want to find things that maybe uh, bump up the level of, meaning to provide you more confirmation when you're trading, you know, like I always, I've said it in several videos just recently, you know, hey, 
this is more uh, by me looking at the volume profile in reference to where price is at okay all right price is in a high probability is the demand zone okay it's broken structure all these different means of, of confluence you know and then it's like i could even use chemical delta or even you know prices at a certain uh, uh um you know yesterday i showed a video in reference to the uh, fibonacci retracement tool whatever the case is you know i'm not a fib trader but i do look at things sometimes and i say okay prices at an area or a zone where it's above a certain uh, the 50 percent level uh, on the fib then you know i take that into consideration as well it just gives me more confirmation and prices you know i say buy the low sell the highs same thing prices above uh, the high volume areas i'm looking for a short Look, if you want to be successful in this business and you don't want to fail yourself like I did at the beginning, which I'm sure a lot of people struggle with this at the beginning, learn market structure. Learn how to learn, you know, learn how to read your charts properly. And it doesn't matter what, you know, time frame based chart or time uh frame chart you trade from. Me, I I'm a range based trader. I change I trade range charts. Some people some people trade, you know, time based charts. Uh, volume tick, whatever it may, whatever it may be, whatever works for you. Okay, whatever works for you, just stick with it and perfect it and make it better. All right, you know, and, and protect your capital at the end of the day. And the only way you can do that is by understanding truly how to read the market. Okay, once you got to that point, and you got a solid strategy. Then I want to say this: secondly, start to build your account. All right, don't go for the full gusto. Uh, trying to get out there and and, and uh, think you're going to become a, a millionaire over, over overnight, uh, you know. Then you put yourself in a situation to where I see this all the time. People allow themselves in to uh, incur so, so much drawdown, thinking the market's going to turn back around. Look, once the price, if you do, if you aren't smart enough to know, once price breaks through a key zone or level, it's not coming back up or go back down to wherever you want it to go to. Okay, at some point it will, but it's going to blow your account probably before it does okay or you're going to incur, incur so much drawdown to where you force me going to, to tap out and close your, your trade don't put yourself in, in a situation like that the, the the what i can recommend to you the key just like building building blocks to build a foundation for something take every inch or every millimeter or whatever it takes little by little wins the race understand that Little by little, growing your account inch by inch, okay? Small trades lead up to greater trades or bigger trades down the road, okay? So build your account up, okay? And then as time goes along, you've got a, a, a nice account size. You may want to leverage more in, in, into the market, whatever the case is, all right? Or look for uh, um, greater runners. You know, you say, hey, I'm going to go to this level here. I'm going to see a price to go here and hold your runners, okay? But look, you can't do that until you start building your account up. You can't even start trading multiple contracts until you build your account up, all right? So I'm trying to give you some advice that maybe you heed to, okay, to avoid the failures that and things that, you know, I failed at, okay? My failure, again, was market structure and price action. So I'm telling you, if you want to make it in this business, okay, protect your capital at the same time, all right, and become successful and turn this into a career. Learn price action and being able to read the market, the, being able to understand market structure, being able to look at your charts and know what the market is trying to intentionally trying to do. What is it trying to accomplish? All right. But that's all I want to talk about this video here. Hopefully, you know, tons of traders out there understand where I'm coming from. Uh, maybe you're in a situation like I was you know, uh, 10 plus years ago when I first started off and, you know, it, it, things were a little tough for me. So maybe you're going through that right now, but I'm trying to give you some, or some advice so you, you're able to curve that a lot sooner, all right, and open that door a lot quicker that puts you in the right path to where you're successful. Yes, I'm successful today and I make very good money trading for the markets, but it just comes with practice, experience, patience, being disciplined and be, be, being a structured trade trader, okay? So, those are the keys. That is the advice. I appreciate everyone who's tuned in each and every day to the videos here on this channel. If you do not mind, and this is your first time watching one of the videos, please take the time to subscribe to the channel down below by simply clicking on the red subscribe button. Click on the bell next to the subscribe button and make sure to turn all your post notifications on so you never miss one of the uploads or videos here on this channel. You can also join us over on the Discord community that we have. I think we may be approaching about 900 community members. And you gotta think about it. Well, why do we have 900 community members? It's, it's growing by the day because we are doing something correct and right on the channel, we as future traders, okay? There are two sides to the channel. I'll show you that right now, or two channels I should say, should say on the server. 
and that is the trading floor and the general chat channel. The trading floor is where we as traders share our, you know, our zones or our levels of interest that we're interested in trading from, okay? I was on here earlier today posting my trade entries as well as other, you know, tons of other traders on here. Just a way for us to be able to kind of give back and show other traders and kind of communicate and 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 um I guess they say learn from one another or you know someone may someone may post an entry or, or, or a trade or a screenshot screenshot of a trade and you know you may have a question to raise about it and say hey uh, i like to, i would like to know a little bit, bit bit more why you actually traded from that zone or whatever the case is so we learn something um when we are able to see uh how other people trade or whatever the case is you know or somebody posts a trade entry like i said maybe it's something that that you may trade just like somebody else you know someone else may say hey i took that same exact trade not sure, but look on the trading floor is is designed and set up for us to be able to share our trade entries, discuss them, um, and you know that's what it is. Now on the general chat channel there, here this is where uh, it, maybe it, you're someone that's new to future trading and you have some questions that you want to ask. Um, look, there's tons of traders that are on here on a daily basis, and uh, they kind of been um, um, reposting my my videos. Whatever the case is, let other individuals know that about certain videos they found very informative or interesting. But look, it's a, it's a great channel as well. If you're a new trader and you're just starting off or maybe you are, you know, maybe you are an experienced trader already, but you maybe you're kind of shifting over to, to future trading as well. Either way, it is what it is. General chat channel is for you to come over and ask questions away about the future markets and get engaged with community members, okay? Outside of that, that's all I have. You know, I just want to talk about that bit of information today, that topic there, let you know my biggest failure at starting off as a trader, what kind of held me back um, and what I did to kind of curve that and, and give you some advice that would also put you in the right direction so you can grow your account and build your account, okay? So, and then, then at that point, you're able to do what? Leverage more money if you choose to, to be able to make more money in the end. At the end of the game, it's about making profits and not blowing your accounts. That's all I have for you. I, I thank you everyone for tuning in. Please do me a favor and drop a like on the video. Thank you and see you in the next one. If you're trading today, today we're going to we're going into the weekend. Trade safe.